When $2.3 billion is at stake, people pay attention. That's the amount that could be infused into our public schools, but that is in limbo tonight. And all because Florida hasn't given the Department of Education a plan for it. What's the state waiting for? 10 Tampa Bay's Shannon Clough went to find out. That's really a question the governor has to answer. As the president of the Florida Education Association, Andrew Spar says there are two things going on with the over $8 billion of SR funding. One, it's send the money to the school districts, and two, it's get that last uh, bit of money. That last bit he's referring to is $2.3 billion. Our local school districts don't have that money because Commissioner Richard Corcoran hasn't submitted a plan to the U.S. DOE. I asked Commissioner Corcoran why and got no response. We release the nearly $8 billion that he already has here in the state that was supposed to be sent down to school districts months ago. A letter sent on Monday from the U.S. DOE to Commissioner Corcoran states, Florida educators are telling them they haven't received the SR funding that was already released. According to this letter, those funds should have been given to the schools within 60 days of receiving them. The example listed in the letter is May 24th, 2021. For the governor to block these dollars is just wrong. Hillsborough Superintendent Addison Davis wrote a letter to Commissioner Corcoran saying approximately $491 million is desperately needed. To address the health and safety in our schools, such as additional sanitizing. No matter his official title, Andrew Spar is a dad. And like any parent, he wants what's best for his child. And I'm sure what every parent wants is they want their child to get that education they deserve. The U.S. DOE says there's no deadline to submit a plan. We reached out to the governor asking when a plan will be submitted, and we haven't heard back yet.